1891, and it is a V-nickel. You can barely see the V on there. Just as I was talking about quarters. Man, silver quarter. All right, now that's a nice old fire bullet. That hit something real hard. See, so made out of lead. Got like a concave base there. And it's squashed flat, so cool find. All right, guys, I haven't got one of these in a month or two. It's a lead bag seal. Man, I really love these things. These are good relics right here. Good piece of the 1800s. Down about six inches. It's all bent up. Um, it looks like it was exposed to something. I don't know. It's in this burn area. It could have just been heated up real bad and melted. Well, that's cool. I can still see a lot of writing on there. Um, I see York. I'm guessing New York. Great find. Nice. I love getting lead bag seals. Or bale seal, whatever you prefer. Nice. Alright, that makes my day right there. Alright, I'll show you if I get anything else. Just got a part to a harmonica reed. Pretty cool. Nice little relic. This place is full of it. I love coming here. Man, you get a little bit of everything. You get modern stuff, you get stuff back from the 40s, 50s, you get stuff back from the 1800s, and even stuff back to the 17. And I've never found anything from the 16, but I know this place was settled back then, so... You can get everything you ever want right in this place. It is awesome. I love it. Let's see what else is out here. Just got a button here. It is not a uh, flat button with a shank, though. So it's uh, from the 1900s. That one's still pretty old, though. Probably at least 70, 80 years. No writing on it or anything. Cool find, nonetheless. All right. Today's a relic day. I am loving it. All right, guys. Let's see what else is out here. All right, guys. I got a perfect coin signal here. <clears throat> it's 85. Straight under that leaf there. So I'm going to do a live dig on this one because I've been getting a lot, a lot of old stuff. Let me see if I got her out of the hole. I do. Now it's 87. It could be a clag quarter and... No, yes! 1942. Yes! <clears throat> Live silver. Ha <laughs> ha! Man, that's awesome. 1942. Um, is there a mint? I can't see and I don't want to rub it. <laughs> oh, a nice piece of big silver. <laughs> I am very happy. Look at the color of that. That thing was like right on top there. I know they plow this thing every year or so. Um, probably a little more than that. At least every couple of years they burn it and then they plow it. This has not been plowed in a little while, but... That is great. 1942. Washington Silver. <laughs> nice quarter. I don't care if it's from the 40s. I know there is older stuff out here. There's got to be barbers and seated. I found barber out here before and I found a seated, both dimes. So there's got to be some silver quarters. That just gives me a nice hope right there. Great. Nice big silver. Alright guys, I'm so glad I did a live dig on that. I almost didn't because it was uh, it was two inches. Like, what in the world? But, 
since I'm in such a uh, old area I figured I would <laughs> oh that's great all right guys let's get some more another button guys looks like the same pattern but it is a different uh, different back on it there cool nice little relic I'm still uh, very happy about that silver Whew! that is great I think I've only ever got like one or two silvers uh, on a live dig before so that's awesome nice I'm in a little honey hole so I'm gonna keep at her all right guys another part of a harmonica reed got the end here this one's a little bit bigger than the other one I got I have found some complete ones in here before but there is a lot of parts of them in this area I'm not too sure what was here either there is a ton of iron there is a lot of old relics out here 40s 50s that's probably the latest I've found anything from like the 50s but stuff here dates back to the 1800s and it's all mixed together um, I know there was a field around here so I'm not too sure but there is a ton of relics all right let's get some more all right that's an older button right there it's giving me uh, 90 numbers 91 92 and it was pretty deep so I had my hopes up but yeah still a nice button cool guys on to the next what in the world is this guys I thought it was a bullet at first because I saw it laying down like that but it's hollow and either cut or made to look like that I really don't know and I really need your help because I've never dug anything like this before That is so strange. Hey, if you have any idea, let me know, because I sure don't. Alright guys, I'm pretty sure I just pulled a wheat. Yep. 1957D. A wheaty. It's got a little green on there. That's very cool. This was such an odd signal. It was coming up like iron, so I'm pretty sure there was iron in the hole with it. Jumping all over the place, but decided to dig it and turned out to be a wheat. So very cool. Alright guys. There sure is some more stuff out here. I know it. Let's go get it. Alright, I got a real nice button here. ML and Company. Atlanta that's very cool that thing is perfect keep her right like that great man there is just some beautiful relics out here I can't get over it nice guys nice that's uh let's get some more 